Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody. You go, go, Nefon, and my first kick in Japan. Last time we had just made it back from Kyoto, and we agreed to go to Yokohama. Yeah, Yokohama with Akira. Alright, here we go. Last day. Yeah, great weather again today, I say to myself. This is my last day to look around Japan. Akira said she'd take me out to Yokohama. Okay, I say. Let's make this. Let's make my last day here the best. So, Akira asked me, Are you ready to head out? Ah, yeah, completely, I say excitedly. Okay, then. Let's get started. I can't yawn like that. I can't fake yawn, sorry. Akira says, uh, Akira, you look really sleepy. Are you okay? I ask her. Uh, uh, sorry, don't, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Akira says. Hmm. But you really don't look well, I say. Do you think you might be coming down with something, I ask her? If it's too much of a bother, you don't have to come with me today. No, what are you saying? I, I want to... Are you saying you don't want to go with me? Akira says indignantly. That, that's not it. That's not what I'm trying to say. Or that's not what I'm saying at all. It's just that if you're really sick, I don't want... And that's why I said I'm fine, accurate. Cuts me off. So don't worry about it. Right? That's true, but... Anyways, Akira says, let's get going. We want as much time as possible to look around, right? Yeah, I say. I know she said she was fine, but I wonder what, if that's true, I think to myself. This last week, she's gone out with me so often and done so much. She's, and she just got back from Kyoto. I wonder if all the activities are really catching up with her. By the way, Akira says, how much do you know about Yokohama? Mm, not very much, really, I say, or admitting it. Not much, he asks. Well, to tell you the truth, until you asked me yesterday, you could say I didn't know anything about it at all. I say to her. Hmm, I see, she says. So, sorry, I respond. You don't have to apologize, Akira says. But... It's like I lied to you, I say to her. I told you not to worry about it, she says to me. It means all my hard work wasn't in vain. Huh? She asks. I ask her. Ah, uh, nothing. Just talking to myself, she says to me. Uh, okay, whatever you say. Uh, ah, speaking of which, Akira says, you don't know where Yokohama is, do you? Uh, no. Embarrassingly enough, I respond. It's next to Tokyo, Akira tells me. It's a harbor town in Kagiwan Imakanagawa uh, Kanagawa Prefecture. Sorry about these names that I'm butchering horribly, everybody, but you know. Me me English weed, me know how to me know know how to speak Japanese. Um, ah, so it's not in Tokyo, I say. I guess it must be pretty far then. Nothing to worry about, Akira says. It may be one prefecture over, but you can still get there directly from a large station like Tokyo or I Ikebukuro. And it doesn't take long at all, she says to me. It can't be more than 30 minutes from either station, she says. I see, I respond. I guess it would take longer to go to places within Tokyo that require a lot of changing trains, huh? That's about right, Akira says. Anyways. I'll save the detailed description for, of Yokohama for after we get there. Okay, I say excitedly. Oh snap, heading on the train. Getting on the train, getting on the train. Choo 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 choo, getting on the train. Well, here we are, Akira says. This is, excuse me, this is Yokohama, I ask? Yes, Akira says. This is one of Yokohama's most famous tourist spots. Harborview Park, she informs me. Uh, Harborview Park, I say. See? You can see the whole city from up here, Akira informs me. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if we can see me. Me not. It is Minato. Okay. Minato Mari 21 from here. Minato Mari, I ask? Um, she says it's an amusement park. 
it's been Japanese tall or if I'm sorry, it's been Japan's tallest building, uh, the landmark tower, and a big Ferris wheel called the Yokohama Cosmo World. Anyway, it's kind of like the heart of Yokohama. It's strange. We should be able to see the Yokohama Harbor. Akira says. Ah, isn't that the harbor over there, I ask her. Hmm? She says. See? The, there are boats that are docking. Ah, you're right, Akira says. That means the harbor that the park overlooks. Oh, come on. What an annoying name, I, she says. Akira? I ask her. Uh, um, that's right. I haven't told you about Yokohama yet, she says. This place, Yokohama, was an itty bitty fishing village 150 years ago. Small, I ask? This place? Yeah, she says. There were less than 100 houses here. It was that small. 100 houses, I ask her? How did it get to be such a big city in such a short time? Well, because of America. Because American ships came, Akira informs me. American, I say. Until then, Japan was in a period called the Saka... Sako... I don't know. That. <laughs> in which trade with, mo with most countries was forbidden. But in the 18th... Uh, yeah, 1863, an American, uh, American named Admiral Perry came to Japan to open up our borders. Then Sukru, so came to an end, and the Yo and Yokohama was chosen as the vanguard of trade with, with other countries. In other words, I say it was a window to foreign trade. I, she, I ask her. That's right, she says. Afterwards, Yokohama turned from a sleepy fishing village into a town filled with cutting-edge foreign cultures overnight. Akira informs me, and within a mere 150 years, it became a the huge city you see today. Wow, I say. You could say that Japan's modernization began right here in Yokohama. When Yokohama became, became a foreign trade port, this whole area was designed to catch foreign, er, excuse me, was designed to corn to freighters. Er, words. Designed to cater to freighters. Words hard. So, they built a lot of western-style buildings in this area, and it became a big tourist spot, she tells me. Western-style, huh? Yeah. Anyways, as long as we're here, you want to take a look around, Akira asks me? Yeah, I think so, I say. Um, this area is called the Yatamechuki in Japanese, Akira says. In English, I think you'd call it Yamate... Burrata? Burrata? Uh, words hard. Don't understand. Uh, I bet she means bluff. Ah, okay. And because people from consulates and because people from consulates for European countries like England and France live here, it became an upper class residential district. Interesting. See? Don't you see all the adorable houses, she asked me. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, I respond. It really is strange, having all these European-style houses in the middle of a Japanese town, she says to me. But from our standpoint, I guess it doesn't seem that strange at all, I think to myself. But right now, I'm more worried about... Um, Akira yawns again. How well Akira has been looking since this morning, I think to myself. She looks exhausted the whole time we were on the train. Hey, Akira, are you sure you're okay? I ask her. Huh? I'm fine. What do you ask? She says to me. It's just, you look completely exhausted, I respond. Ah. Uh, hey, if you, you're really tired, you don't have to force yourself, I say to her. I told you I'm fine. I'm not tired at all, she says to me. I hope not, but anyways, let's get going on to the next destination. Sure, I say. Yeah, anyways, I'll have to just keep a close eye on her. All right, everybody, I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. Uh, 
as always, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time for more when we actually get to explore around Yokohama a little bit. See you then.